We've got trees to cut down, mud to push around and try to level out, and a rainwater catchment system to get set up all before the rain comes this weekend. So no time to talk, let's get to work. Those three sections were all leaning a close enough way. We've got them all laying exactly where we want to, but the last two sections, I'm gonna save those for the very end. I think I'm gonna try and get a rope on those. Got one more right here, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just try and get these tops cut and make it more manageable. I have found when you drop too many on top of each other, they, they're harder to pull apart. Well, I thought the camera was recording and it wasn't, so you completely missed me cutting down that tree, but I got it all cut up into a few chunks. Basically just breaking out the tops and the piles that will go through the wood chipper. Then the rest of the trunks we'll take back to our firewood pile. Be right back. I think these two larger ones I can drag out from the end, hopefully, if I left enough. Here we go, see if we got enough traction for this. They have a decent enough to to drag it some now. Let's see. There we go. Oh yeah, not to worry, this is the big one. We'll chop this and then we'll come grab the other piece and get them both pulled up in a stack where we can pull them out. Let's get this guy next. The biggest tree, but it's, it's leaning right where we want it to go. Exactly where we're shooting. Most of this is going to be firewood. There ain't a whole lot of little stuff, so we'll get this cut up and get out of here. Shouldn't take too long. Might be wondering why we waited to cut down all these trees until after we burned up the brush that was here. And that's a good question. Honestly, we weren't 100% sure which trees were going to come down, and we were just trying to get the bulk of the brush burnt up at that point in time. And like I mentioned in that video, we do need a good bit of wood chips for the garden. The tops and the limbs from these trees will make great wood chips here, and the trunks are all going to be good firewood, so these were good trees not to have burnt and to save anyways. Still attached here at the stump, but I waited until I had it grabbed with the grapple before trying to cut that, because otherwise I was worried it was going to roll down the hill and then I wouldn't be able to get it. So now we got it in the grapple, we cut it off. Then we'll get it out of here. That's it for tonight. Get this last log back on the pile. We'll pick back up here tomorrow. Hopefully we can get those last couple of trees down and then we'll start working on trying to get some grading done and get that all polished up as well. So last night it decided to rain right when I was gonna come out here and work. Fortunately it only rained for us a short period of time and it didn't really rain much. It didn't I don't think it really impacted how much work we're gonna be able to do today. We should have all day today. The rain's gonna come in right around dark tonight. So hopefully we can we can get the whole day in today. It did stop raining last night before dark, soon enough for me to come out and get the rope up in this tree behind me that we're gonna take down. So that's where we're gonna get started this morning. I'm gonna cut this one down with this little cordless electric saw. This is a DeWalt 20 volt. You probably see me using this saw in previous videos. I like this for limbing and doing little small cuts. This is bigger than what I would normally cut with this. It's so quiet when I'm working in this scenario where I'm having somebody pull the rope and I need to communicate. I think it's a lot better choice even though it does take a little bit longer to make the cut. Here we go. We're getting close to where it's gonna start going. All right, going. Perfect. This tree was leaning pretty hard this way. So I cut it going directly this way. And we pulled going that way. And it landed kind of somewhere in between.
There it goes. 15 little push. About two weeks ago, we started getting this rain toad set up. I started by just raking out the pad underneath it level. There was actually already gravel here, which worked out really nice. There were a couple of concrete block already here too, I think from an old propane tank. So I went ahead and used those to give a bearing surface for the back edge of the tote to sit. The front edge is sitting on the edge of the sidewalk. We then moved on to washing out the tote. We've used this before, but it's kind of dirty. It's just been sitting out for a year or so. I tried the other day to just hose it down with the regular nozzle on a garden hose and it just wasn't cutting it. So we use the pressure washer and see if we can get most of the dirt and the mildew and stuff that's growing on it cleaned off there and out of the inside as well. Then we got it slid into place. I bought this cover for it. Should help keep algae growth from occurring and it also kind of just looks a little bit nicer. I started putting together the downspout piping, ended up not having everything I needed and had to go back to Lowe's to get some parts. So I just kind of put the downspout back together because it was going to rain the next day. We picked back up on this today. I got a lot more pipe. I had to extend this one just a little bit. Now we got this set up temporarily. I still don't have everything I need. I need to go back to Lowe's one more time to get one more fitting. But the way we have it set up, we've got the downspout is coming into a T which is then going down into this elbow, into this pipe that'll drop down into this tank. Coming out of the T, we've got this piece of downspout, which was up against the house and then had this angled piece coming forward. Now we're gonna put that directly in, into the outlet pipe, and it'll stand right here. Come out of this T, 90 down, and I, I forgot to get another one of these downspout adapters to go back to this downspout. Once this tank gets full, we'll back up this pipe and come back out this T, and, and down the downspout. Um, but in order to do that, I need to get this sealed and then we'll, we'll either glue or tape these joints all the way back up to this T. That way they're, they're tight and allow it to, to back up that pipe and come out the T. It is supposed to rain a good bit over the next couple days, about an inch and a half. We're not gonna fill this tank with, with just the one rain. This is where we're gonna leave it for now. Check back at the end of the video and we'll come back. We'll get this all finished up and we'll check and see how much rain we got in the tank. You might be noticing I've got a different attachment on the back of the tractor today. I don't think I've shown this on the channel yet. This is our tree saw. I got it a couple years ago for a clearing project on a different piece of property. I'll probably do more in depth on this when we end up using it a little bit more, but I put it on today because I wanted to try and cut these stumps off. A new component of this for me is a hydraulic top link. I got this kind of near the end of my work with this attachment but I never got a chance to get it set up. This stump was just a little bit larger than the capacity of this saw, so I couldn't cut all the way through at the bottom. I found if you take it down in small chunks like this, you can cut a little bit more, and then I just kind of grind it off at the ground level. So this whole section through here is kind of holding water. This mound needs to get out of here so that the water can drain down through here. We've got a pretty decent slope, but it's, it's running into a dam right here. What I'm gonna try and do is back down in this way and push uphill with the dirt, which will help fill this higher, as well as get this mound out of the way. It is pretty wet and there's obviously standing water in here, but it's actually pretty solid down this way and the, and the dirt that I'm working on is solid. I'm just gonna go as far as I can. Yeah, it's sol definitely solid enough for us. I'm actually going to go ahead and take out this tree right behind me. This is what this tree saw is made for perfectly. I'm wondering almost if this ratchet link is hurting us more than it's helping us. It does do a good job of getting in there and cutting, but sometimes just the regular cutting edge works better too. So let's see.
with a loader on a tractor like this, you kind of just have to chip away at something like this a little bit at a time. Probably a regular old tooth bar would be better than this ratchet rake in this particular scenario, but I actually think that the ratchet rake better than nothing. I think I have successfully leveled out that hump that was right in here that was creating a dam. I do have a little bit of a hump right here. I think it might be in my best interest to try and push this this way. Did as much as I could, but you reach a point where you're doing more harm than good and that's where we're at here, so it was time to get out. It's actually the next morning now. Rain's supposed to be here in an hour or two. I'm probably pushing it, but I'm gonna see if I can do any more with the blade in terms of just trying to get some of these ruts leveled out. Um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to do anything or if I'm gonna just make more of a mess. I'm gonna see what I can do and then we're gonna get the tarp on top of this and it'll be time for the rain. The rain has passed. We didn't end up getting nearly what they had forecasted. I think it was, at one point the forecast said two and a half inches, but we only got about three quarters of an inch, which is not so good for the rain tow, but it's definitely good for what we're trying to do out in the garden. So let's check and see how much water we got. There's our water level right there. And it actually is exactly on the 75 gallon mark. So for three quarters of an inch, or even if it was an inch of rain, 75 gallons, that's that's pretty good. So we do need to finish up this overflow over here. Came out here and, and watch during the rain, and when water comes vertically down a pipe, it tends to cling to the wall, and that's what it was doing. It was clinging to the wall, and then it was kind of spinning out the front of that T. So what I want to do is get this T set up so that it's going down into the downspout, but I also want it to angle up just a little bit. I'm not gonna have a problem with having some uphill in this because it's actually just a little bit taller than than what is in here and we're gonna have to kind of force it to make this fit but I think we can do it. There we go. All set. Downspout was probably just a little bit too long. It's, it's automatically kind of making it rise just a little bit so that works out perfectly. I still have to figure out a solution for this cap. Originally, I was thinking of taking one of these floor flanges and actually going, just going into the surface of the tank. And I guess I could maybe do it over here and kind of slide it under the edge of this cover. The way this cover is, I was gonna do it on the side like over here. Then I would have to cut a hole in the cover or something. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on a better way to, to get this uh, sealed. As soon as it dries out some more, we'll be back out in the garden trying to get some raised bed set up and starting to get fencing put in. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you back here next time. And I also want to say happy birthday to my lovely wife who has supported me in making all these videos. She's the one that finally gave me the nudge to actually start making these videos. I've been talking about it for years. She made it possible by actually filming the first video for me all by herself. Without her, these videos wouldn't happen. There's so much that she does behind the scenes that you guys don't see. She's responsible for our nice logo and thumbnails and helping out with filming, helping out in the background on the projects. So I just want to tell her thank you for all the support. I love you. Happy birthday. Thank you.